Hello, my name is Darius and today I'm going to present you the top 5 electric cars to drive in a city. First of all, let's make some rules. When I'm thinking about a city car, I'm thinking about a Fiat 500 or a Audi A1. Basically, the cheapest car from each brand. So, it can be cheap, you can park it in tight spots and your heart won't break when you scratch it. Therefore, we need a car that makes us uh, comfortable when we're driving in the uh, narrow streets of uh, cities. Which type of car do you think is best suited for city drive? Tell me in the comment section down below. We have just another step before starting. I am going to present the five competitors. After that, I'm going to enumerate them from bottom to top in order to sort and give grades based on their look, range, car size and price tag. Let's go. The Fiat 500D, starting from about 27,000 euros, is a car which is capable of traveling about uh, 250 kilometers in city conditions and about 200 combined. If you really like this car, I say it's better to pay another 4,000 euros and get the Icon model, which brings you a bigger infotainment system of uh, 10 inches, Apple CarPlay, a bigger motor which uh, has 118 horsepower and a battery which can last for 400 kilometers in city conditions. It has a stylish interior with a digital cockpit and a nice steering wheel. I really like the design of the dashboard. I think that this car is a really chic car. The Honda e is a good looking car. It starts from around 25,000 euros. It produces 154 horsepower and has 282 kilometers of urban autonomy, which is more than enough to drive around the city for one week without charging. Sounds great. This car is packed with technology. In fact, all the mirrors are instead screens that play what cameras are transmitting live. The dashboard is covered by two 12 inches big screens that are amazing to look at. It sounds like the Honda e is uh, better in every single chapter. Starting from around the 30,000 euros, the French car, the Peugeot E208, it's pretty pricey and you'll get a 136 horsepower motor and about 400 kilometers of range in a single charge, which is more than enough. The exterior is typical Peugeot, stylish and clean. The interior feels more qualitative than other cars, but at this price tag, it should be. If you can believe it or not, you can buy a base model 3 series for this money. The Smart 4 II is the best car you can choose in terms of dimensions. When I traveled in Rome, I saw two smart cars parked in a single parking spot, just like this. Now, I know, it's a great car, but it comes only with 18 kWh of battery, which makes it a little bit annoying because you only get 150 kilometers of range, so you just can't use it to travel in the nearby city. I'm saying that because uh, most of the entrepreneurs tend to opt for an EV as their work car because of the cheap running costs. And if you're an entrepreneur, you have to drive a lot daily and maybe even check the other store or uh, the working point from the nearby city, which in this car may be awful. Maybe if you want to do this, you just need to go to a Tesla Model 3 or an ID3 or choose a reliable hybrid like the Toyota Corolla. The Dacia Spring is the most EV EV in the market. If you're asking me to describe an EV in just two words, I would say Dacia Spring. It's great, it costs about 18,000 euros, the cheapest EV on the market. You have pretty high ground clearance, so it's perfect for high curbs. You're not going to scratch your car again. It has good autonomy too, about 300 kilometers, but it's lazy, it only has 45 horsepower. In my opinion, it's all you need in traffic. My car has about 230 horsepower, and I think I use 30% of this power every day in the city, and an extra urban condition a little bit more. Yeah, it's nice, and you feel like you have lots of power ready to unleash, but how many times are you going to unleash it? If you want to hear more about Dutch Spring, then check the video I made for it. As this being said, let's make the list. All the five competitors have pretty similar scores, so it's pretty tight. On number five, we have the Smart, which has a eight for the look, a four for the range, a 10 for the size, an eight for the price, and has a grand total of 30 out of 40. We have two number threes, the Fiat 500, which uh, got nine for the look, seven for the range, nine for the size, 
7 for the price and has a grand total of 31 out of 40. The Honda E, which has a 8 for the look, a 8 for the range, a 8 for the size and a 7 for the price, which has a grand total of 31 out of 40. The Peugeot 208 got 9 for the look, 10 for the range, 9 for the size, 5 for the price and gather 32 points out of 40. The Dacia Spring is the number one and has six for the look, an eight for the range, a nine for the size and a 10 for the price because it's the best and cheapest EV you can buy it right now. And this top says that all. I think that in this top five, I gather all the best and greatest EVs you can buy right now and drive it in the city. So if you like this video, please share it, like it, comment, and um, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Goodbye.